You have a bit of explaining to do, don't you? Where's all the gritting gone? Well, we can only do what we can do. We can't achieve miracles. Um, we had a massive uh, snowfall in a very short period of time. The salt will, when we put it out beforehand, work only as effectively as it can to a certain level. Do you watch level. the weather reports, Darren? Do you watch the weather reports? The troll from Trondheim, I was talking about it all last week. You know, we all knew it was coming. Well, it didn't come out of nowhere. It came from the Patrick, sky. Patrick, I think you're being very dismissive to very hard-working frontline workers who have been gritting since the cold spill started over a week ago. 1.4 million tonnes of salt is stocked up and we try and keep all the primary roads open. Uh, uh, we can't do back roads, but I can assure you that our staff across all councils, across the country, are working uh, as best they can with, you know, lorries, tractors, quad bikes, snow blowers. We've even got street cleaners actually gritting as well to try and keep everything moving because it isn't just the cars we've got to worry about people walking on our streets as well so we we concentrate in primary areas where we, where we best can and we have to give our best judgment on how much we can put down at any one time is there a, a grit you're right i was being a little bit facetious there so yes i will give mm. you that one but but you're talking to a bloke here who spent about 15 hours trying to get into work so i will concede the fact that i'm more than my usual grumpy self today, actually. But is there a finite amount of grit in the country? How does it work? Can we donate to a grit bank or something? Because obviously a lot of people, as this troll from Trondheim continues to roar for the next few days, I mean, what, what, are we going to run out? Is there a gritting shortage? No, I mean, as I said, we, we have got 1.4 million tonnes stored already. What we've got to try and do is get round. Mm. Now, of course... Uh, that happens in many different ways, depending what the situation that council faces. Uh, I, in my East London borough, have two gritters that does the whole borough. Now, again, I've had teams out working round the clock for the last week, trying to keep uh, all of our major roads open. Now, again, it's how does that work when people in the AA uh, yeah. were very clear there. Do you really need to go out? Lots yeah. of people now can work from home. And I'm sorry to hear of a 15-hour uh, uh, traffic situation you found yourself in with different modes. But it yeah. shows that it, it really does cause a problem for the country. It and does. all we can do as local authorities is try and build uh, and mitigate as best we can in the situation we find ourselves on. But please, there's hundreds of thousands of frontline workers doing their best trying to make sure you can go to work.